Hi, welcome back. I want to talk today a little bit about aphids and mealybugs. This will be pretty quick because they're really easy to control, really easy to identify and spot. Um, several different control measures can be used, but they're little sucking insects and cause a lot of damage because they rapidly, rapidly multiply. The key is getting in touch with, noticing it quickly, and dealing with it. Um, I had a little problem with my cucumbers because they were growing pretty thick. I did a real thorough job of pruning and thinning it out and some got in behind on the trellis, wiped out of the area of it pretty fast. So I ripped them out as soon as I saw that. I was done with cucumbers anyway. They were planning to come out. So bag them up and get rid of them. So I'm gonna walk through the garden and we're gonna spot a couple of mealybugs. I've been treating in my tomatoes for mealybugs and aphids so I had trouble finding, so I found a few dead ones, one alive one, which is pretty good because there's usually hundreds of them. So let's go see what we can find. I'm gonna look, I am looking, try to see if I can find any live ones. And once we do, we'll identify them, aphids and mealybugs, and then try to show you how to control them really pretty simple there's a dead one I don't know if you can see that there it is um, once I realized that they were here and it was kind of my complacency not seeing them there's a few you see that right there those are mealybugs well let's see if we can find an aphid and those are dead. Just hanging on there. Let's see if we can find an aphid. Here we go. Let's get this. Focus. There you go. Green aphids right there. And he is moving still alive. So let's talk about control. Several different control measures, including biological in the form of ladybugs, are uh, green lacewings will eat up aphids and mealybugs like it's a buffet. Problem is I don't have a lot of either. Um, a few ladybugs show up every once in a while. I don't know where they all are now but I'm surrounded by 80 acres of pasture and woodlands and things like that. So there's a lot of place out there. Here in about October, there'll be hundreds of them trying to get in my shed in my house, but they're not here. So I had to resort to doing some other treatment. You can use just soap water spray. Absolutely will kill them, it'll coat them. You just use Dawn dish soap, a couple drops, and it will absolutely coat them and kill them. I've tried that. Um, and it does work if you spray it directly on them. What I've found to work better for me is neem oil. I think it has a, it's a little stickier and it actually has a repellent factor to it. Where I just saw those aphids, it was underneath the leaf down there that I kind of missed. I'll retreat them in a cup in tomorrow morning probably, um, or tomorrow afternoon. And I'll knock them out. But I'm pretty judge about checking, but there's no way at the height of the season, I already pulled out. I had 100 tomato plants, 36 pepper plants, big row of jalapenos and cucumbers. So there's no way working full time to go check every single leaf every day. They're gonna get away from you. And that's okay. Just recognize that they're pretty easy to control. Substray will kill them. The neem oil mix will definitely do it. And it sticks around a little longer to me and actually has that repellent factor. As long as you learn to recognize it early and get on it, you'll be fine. One of the signs for a heavy espit infestation of either one of those insects is what's called honeydew. You'll see a sappy, shiny surface of the leaves. A lot of times you'll see ants collecting there. And the ants will actually herd aphids and herd them like cattle, you know, and they lick up, suck up that sweet sugar honeydew from the plant. 
None of mine here have it. There was some of the cucumbers before I ripped them out. Um, actually, the thumbnail picture was that of a cucumber vine that was really shiny, and it's kind of how I noticed it. So just be diligent, pay attention, and you'll be able to handle those two things pretty easily. Those aren't, they're not a big problem, as long as you stay on it. Thank you. Like I said, like, just thumbs down, thumbs up. Feedback would be greatly appreciated. I would like to grow this and get better at it. So I appreciate your time. Have a good evening.